What's up, everybody? Derek G here, Feed the Fire Films. And, um, I made this image and I posted it on Facebook. And it's been getting a million shares, actually. It's a. It's a vortex mathematics geometry seed of life. Which basically just starts with this circle that you see here. Yeah. And um, from there you start with the circle and you take another one and another one and another one and another one until you go around like this and some people call it the germ of life, some people call it the seed of life. I don't really, I'm not fond of the term germ, so I'd rather call it the seed of life. <laughs> Because that's really what it is. And from here, you, of course, can extrapolate this outer ring, which would give you a fractal version of the same thing again and again and again on a bigger scale. And you can extrapolate this green star David here. From this point on is where the vortex math really starts to appear because from after drawing these straight lines you've created these cross points here even though you've had you've had them up here the whole time so you really wouldn't need the star on there you could just draw a straight line from from here to here and get the same cross points after you do that basically um, they would cross in the same spots see what I mean and it's these cross points here that that give you the next extrapolation basically because you you draw a line from here to here you know crossing out through your initial circle which then gives you another point another place to uh, another degree spot to again you would be drawing another circle for for these purposes you know just for the image I um, what did I do I extrapolated those lines right see like this just so people could see that these are the cross points there they give you these degree marks here and split this up into a 18 we have 18 degree points around the outside of the circle now just starting with the circle with the one circle and then six more gives us seven so seven circles and then what you have six more lines you can just add all this stuff up it's really simple give us you know a whole new you have this inner hexagon here which if you were to draw a line from here to here would give you a cube right so you have a cube in here it's not every time you see a hexagon it's really a three-dimensional cube with a vector equilibrium in the middle of it but that's getting into something else <laughs> because you would fractal this out and end up with the vector equilibrium at the end which would just create another one of these and so on and so on and so on so what I've been what I've been doing is I put the vortex math numbers around 1 through 9 right and that basically is that really when you think about it because from here you would just keep repeating this sequence you would repeat it again like uh, this 1 through 9 creates this sequence 1 4 7 and 2 5 8 like that right so you have these three triangles now 3 6 9 1 4 7 2 5 8 are all just the, remember we begin we began with a circle one circle so it's not non-negotiable 
Because a circle is a circle, man. No one's, no one can argue a circle. This circle gives us this geometry in three-dimensional space. So I took it to the next step, and I put, you know, 10 through 18 around in a reverse fashion, so you could see how these cross lines point out the next layer of of frequency we could call it which give us two more triangles right for 147 and 258 and you can add them up like that like you have 1 plus 1 is 2 4 plus 1 is 5 1 plus 7 is 8 and that's that red triangle just like this other red triangle here and same goes for this light blue one and where does it start down here one one four seven right one four seven so you just it ends up mirroring itself this is where I stopped on my image but you would just keep doing that because now you've extrapolated again your grid ends up looking something like this I just kinda flipped it in a way it doesn't it my quick little depiction doesn't line up when I mirror it because it's kind of free-handed here for just for the image so uh, just to give you an idea you can see that we have green 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 and green filling these empty space that you know it appears like I'm leaving it out but uh, it's really accounted for when you complete the diagram in a three-dimensional fashion where you'd have to keep going you'd have to keep adding on to this in order to get the full measure so I just kinda wanted to explain that to people because some people might think that this empty space is not being accounted for in the geometry here because it could appear that way but really it, it, it becomes accounted for when you're thinking three-dimensionally so it's it's accounted for <laughs> yeah and with that I just figured I'd share and expand on it since it's getting so many shares on Facebook and some people out there might need a little more of an explanation or might want a little more of an explanation about it and so uh, there it is <laughs> I, I don't think I'm gonna take it any further than here it's just kinda like to give everyone the idea the basic fundamental measure here starts with a circle okay it starts with the one circle so all those numbers and the way it all lines up is beginning with it's basically the measurement for infinity because you're measuring a circle so this is how you would measure a circle that's how you find out there's no pi really pi gets extrapolated from here it's some man-made mathematical decimal point thing that doesn't really exist because it's just part of a whole in a way so it's a limited understanding of the whole but with that let me uh let me show you let me do this real quick I'll just turn this on right 1 through 9, 10 through 8, I mean 10 through 18, right, we got triangles, so everyone can get an idea here of how this works, you see how, see how this is working out, <laughs> without the extrapolation, when you erase the lines, it, it, I, I took away, and now you have this diagram that you could flip and mirror and flip and mirror, on an XYZ axis and that's why these spaces aren't really empty because I'm not showing you the whole thing and yeah with that I will say peace love and gratitude and namaste to all of you